Oh, hello, I'm Front Row Phyllis, and I'm in a Ford F-150, and I've teamed up with the Big 95 Chicago family and these country music fans to bring you a bird's eye view of behind the scenes coverage and backstage interviews at this year's 2018 Windy City Smokeout. This is all thanks to our friends at Ford, America's best selling brand. What do you guys say? Are you ready for some country music and barbecue? Yeah! I think they're ready. Well, let's go now. Hey guys, we are so excited. We are taking you behind the scenes. So when the artists get here, they either come on tour buses, which are behind me, or by plane, or even by uh, vans. And then they have this incredible area back here that has even ping pong. They also have a VIP tent that has air condition and great food inside. So you know what? They get to chill out before they perform. So come on with us. Guys, you know what happens when you get to hang out backstage? back here where the trailers are and the trucks. Well, you happen to walk into hanging with Walker Hayes. How What's up? You? So good, so good. <laughs> Just glad to be here. And uh, we love coming to this town for the gym, as right. you and I were talking about. That's what we were talking about, the gym. Yeah, we love, we love the gym that we get to work out with every time we do anything associated, uh, you know, with Joe's. Right. And obviously the Windy City Smokeout, so yeah. We've had, a, we've had a good morning, got here early, and uh, had a good breakfast, and then hit the gym. Is there a big difference in uh, Mobile and Nashville, you think? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, Mobile is uh, very old money, um, a big city in Alabama, but still very, very much small town okay. atmosphere. Um, yeah. And so, but I, and I love it there. But yeah, uh, you know, Chicago also is a town where my music has worked. You know, yeah. there, there's there, there's definitely regions and cities, if you will, that have obviously embraced my music for real. Right. You know, and then there's right. some places who are still kind of catching on, but Chicago is one of those places. It was one of the first uh, sellouts on any headline, on, on our first headline tour. So that, right. I love coming here. Yeah. Uh, there's always It's fans. almost like coming home, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's been, that's been interesting to me, again, as somebody who's not very well traveled, to think, hey, I'm going to Chicago, right? And there's there's friends and people there who know all the words, you right. know, to my stuff. And um, so yeah, there's a couple of cities like that that are near and dear to me. And Chicago really is one of those. I I, right. I, is, I rarely turn down a gig in right. Chicago. Right. Coming here. Yeah. So do you think there's a difference in festival or what's that feeling like? Playing a festival versus a venue like Joe's, yeah. you know, what do you think? I, the crowd like a little bit more rowdy they're drinking that yeah. kind of thing yeah i mean i think the crowd typically it's almost like if you took a club crowd and just said they're on vacation if for the day and right. it just made them that much more relaxed and right. happy you right. know they are uh they're they're definitely into your set you know they're there they show up right. they're taking the day off uh, usually you know for these festivals and stuff and they show up and um, you know they show up early yeah. uh, to to hear new stuff too, and and um, they're bigger, honestly. I mean, right. you know, especially for me, I can maybe sell out one, two thousand tops. So to to play like a Windy City Smokeout or right. a fair or a festival, I'm looking at more people than I'm used to, right. and that that hypes me up. Oh yeah. And uh, usually the better shows are these outdoor. Um, massive crowd experience and then they know who you are they right. know your music and then they're buying the music right right which right. is the key right exactly <laughs> and they get it they get a good they get a best foot forward from me and my band you know we, we right. feel great and then and then also um, we're treated so great you know fairs yeah. and festival season is is it's awesome for, yeah. for bands and artists is it? we love this yeah I mean the, the these festivals especially you know everybody with Joe's and, and Ed at Joe's like they they cater to us. Oh, yeah. we, we are very well taken care of. So right. speaking of that, can we talk right. about the new album? Right. Boom. Yeah. So excited. So tell us that that was released in December, right? Right. And um, how, first off, how did you pick the name? Oh, it's just <laughs> a you know we have we have had a, such a pleasant ride from here. You know, about two two years two three years ago, I was working at Costco, and so each week 
to, to, uh, to this day, there's always just been a exciting thing for, for me and my team to text each other about like, hey, your song got this many listens or streams or whatever, or, or hey, you know, your song was on the radio today here and here and here. And so each time one of us would find out those analytics, we would text each other and, and be like, hey, they played it, boom. Or, oh. hey, so-and-so tweeted about it, boom. And so that just became a regular uh, thing for us. It wasn't, we weren't like, hey, immediately let's name the album. Uh, right. That is just, as, as we discussed and argued about album titles, which usually came from lyrics from the right. album, nothing excited us. And then we thought, why not, why name not just down. name it, boom. Right. Uh, and so that's, <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad we did, and yeah. um, it's been fun to market. You know, it's a great word. Right. It's easy. It's easy, simple. right? Yeah. And it's easy for it. people to remember. Right. right. Hey, guys, we have had an incredible time here at the Windy City Smokeout over the past several days, and it has been great joining the Big 95.5 Chicago family and bringing you backstage interviews and behind-the-scenes coverage. This is all thanks to our friends at Ford, America's best-selling brand. Oh,